Hello, welcome to our new video tutorial on how to use Mask Modeler tool. Today, we will create a mountain projection in order to get the following result. Okay, let's start. Drag the image to Create New Composition button at the bottom of the Project panel, then change the comp size and click OK. Also, change the shadow map resolution. Okay. Now create a new solid. And start masking out the mountains. Alright, now change the mask color to make it more visible. Next step would be to duplicate the mask. Hide the first mask so that it doesn't get in the way and start aligning the second mask with the slopes of the mountains. Ok, now duplicate the second mask and do the same with the third mask. Thank you. 
Now, since in real 3D space the lake is in the same plane, we must align all the masts along the x-axis before actually creating the surface. Okay, now open Projection 3D. I forgot to mention, you must duplicate the mask number 3. Open the Mask Modeler tool, set the depth at 1000, select mask 1 and 2 and press Create Surface. Press Create Surface once more, set the depth at 2000 and press Create Surface again. Now group the compositions you've created. Select the surface com and press Find Camera. By switching the camera to the custom view 1, you can clearly see the geometry that we've created. Make sure that the land JPEG file is under the camera layer. Select the camera and image and click on the Create Projection button. Click Recompose, making three copies. Okay, now let's animate the camera. To create a sky, drag Projection Scene 2 down and rename it to BG. Double click on BG. Go to the top view and create a primitive sliced cylinder. Scale it. Delete other layers and go back to the land comp. Press Enter to pre render. Great, now save the scene and close After Effects. Open the original image in Photoshop. Go to image slash canvas size and increase the width and height to 6000 by 4000 pixels. Okay, restore the sky and mountains with the Clone Stamp tool.
throughout the process you can save the image and check the result in After Effects. Great! Now we must make another copy of the image for a BG composition. We must get rid of the mountain edges. Okay, now go back to Photoshop and restore the back side of the mountains with the clone stamp tool. Save the image as land BG. Go back to After Effects, select the BG comp, and click Replace Projection Image button. Choose the land BG image. Great!
rename projection scene to the foreground. And your scene is ready. Go ahead and save it. For the final result, I used colorista and lens flare effect. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.